Hey kids, how are you guys doing today? Great. Hey, I recently got a job mowing lawns for this park. I started to earn some money, but I was wondering if you can help me learn about money so I will know how much I am earning. Can you guys help me with that? Thanks, guys. Okay, let's go over to the table and look at some coins and see if we can make sense of it. Here on the table we have a golden diamond ring. On the right we have a big rock. Which one of these objects is bigger, the diamond ring or the rock? Yeah, the rock is totally bigger. Now can you tell me which one of these objects is worth more money? I heard someone say the diamond ring is worth more money, but how? The rock is so much bigger. Yeah, the diamond ring is definitely worth more than the rock though. Even though the ring is smaller, it is still worth more than the rock. And did you notice there is only one diamond ring and one rock? So even though there is only one of each, each of them has a different value. Let's look at some coins now, and I will show you what I mean. This coin is called a penny. A penny is worth only one cent. The word cent is used when talking about coins. This is the cent symbol. Okay, let's use our tens blocks to compare the worth or value of this coin. The penny is only worth one cent, as we see here. This next coin is called a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. These five ones blocks represent the value of this nickel. So the penny is worth one cent, and the nickel is worth five cents. Our next coin is smaller than the nickel and the penny. But just as we learned with the ring and the rock, the size is not important. This coin is called a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. We can see this with one of our tens blocks. This tens block has 10 blocks in it, so it represents the dime. So the penny is worth 1 cent, the nickel is worth 5 cents, and the dime is worth 10 cents. Our last coin is called a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. To show 25 cents with our blocks, we would need 25 blocks, right? So to get 25 blocks, we need two tens blocks and five ones blocks. This set of tens blocks represents a quarter. So we have our penny that is worth one cent, our nickel that is worth five cents, our dime that is worth 10 cents, and last of all, our quarter that is worth 25 cents. Okay. Can you tell me which coin is worth more, the dime or the quarter? The quarter is worth more. We can see that the dime is worth 10 of these blocks, and the quarter is worth 25 of these blocks. A quarter is worth more than a dime. Which coin is worth more here, the nickel or the dime? The dime is worth more. Good job. The dime is worth 10 cents, and the nickel is worth 5 cents. 10 is more than 5. Let's look at one more. Here we have the penny and the nickel. Which coin is worth more? Good job! The nickel is worth more than the penny. The penny is worth 1 cent, and the nickel is worth 5 cents. Since each of these coins has a different value, there are many ways to add these up. For example, I am getting paid 25 cents to mow this lawn. Let's look at some ways I can get paid 25 cents. Here are a couple of ways we can get 25 cents. We are using the blocks to help us. Here we have two tens blocks and five ones. These two tens blocks can each be dimes since they both represent 10. The five ones can represent a nickel since a nickel is worth 5 cents. Together we have 20 cents in dimes and 5 cents with a nickel, which makes 25 cents altogether. Great job, guys! The next group we are looking at has one tens block and 15 ones. So we could represent the tens block with a dime, and the 15 ones could all be pennies. Adding the dime and 15 pennies gives us 25 cents. There are many ways to do this, and we just looked at two, but you can do so many more on your own. Thanks for helping me learn the basics of money, guys. I really appreciate it. 
I have to get mowing now, so I will see you guys later. Goodbye! Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.